Tony Harvey here guys from HRV TV. We are here today at uh, HRV Fitness Headquarters actually, so a um, little bit different venue and um, just thought I'd touch base with you guys. I haven't done an interview for a few weeks, so um, I thought I would just touch base and uh, let you know what guys going on. Um, we recently had our Australian titles for um, BMX Australian Australian titles for you people who aren't in Australia who don't really know. Um, and yeah, it was a good weekend, man. Like we had three days of torrential rain. I don't think I've ever seen that much rain at a BMX race. It was just phenomenal. And um, props to the kids who raced Thursdays and Friday and actually got a decent lap in in that weather, man. It was just horrible. So um, I was just glad that Friday night it stopped raining and Saturday it um, all dried up and uh, looked the track and um, amazing. Like the track just held up amazing considering the amount of rain we had and, um, you know, for you guys that were there, you would have seen it was just horrible. And the fact that the, the rain stopped and look, the track dried up, it was still soft in some spots, but considering the amount of rain they had, man, it was, it was really good. So by the end of the day, the track was good, dried out, and um, we had some good racing. You know, I managed to get a win, which was awesome. And uh, it was really good to have a bit of a one-on-one -on -one challenge or one-on-one -on -one battle with um, Lumsden, which was uh, last year's national champion in the elite, in the, um, sorry, in the master's class. And um, it was awesome. So I look forward to, um, to racing him again next year in um, wherever the hell it is, Bathurst next year in New South Wales. So that'll be pretty sick. Um, a bit of bad luck for the elite guys, you know, Sam, Dean, and um, Bodie Turner. They're all hitting to the last turn. And um, due to the wet weather, the, just, the turns were um, water was seeping up from underneath the corner so regardless of how much you swept off the turn it just kept coming up so um, they managed they all hit the last turn and washed out together and um, Friswick the magic man he um, ran to the outside and managed to get the win again at his um, home track I guess it's his home track he rides there a bit and um, yeah so he's number two now he's won two two elite titles um, from two stops at, at Sleeman so it's pretty amazing um yeah, that's it, guys. So, like I said, they, these guys are just raced on the weekend up in Papendale over over in Europe. So, um, I'll let them get back, settle, and um, I'll try and catch up with a few of the elite guys over the next couple of weeks. And um, that's about it, guys. You know, look, I'll um, I'm going to spend the next probably three or four months back in the gym and just doing some strength work in the gym. Good time if you're not going to the worlds is to um, probably hop off the bike now, have a bit of a bit of a rest from the bike. Um, a lot of the guys I train now, I'm trying to get them off the bike for at least four weeks, four or five weeks, and just do something else. Get in the gym, do some strength stuff, um, just get off the bike and, and do something different. You know, your body will really love it and body will appreciate um, doing something different, a bit more variety in your training rather than just sprints and gate starts and sprints and gate starts. Okay, so um, yeah, have a think with that. And, and look, and this is the time to sort of reflect back and, and really look at what you need to work on, you know. I need to improve my starts. I need to get to the bottom of the hill quicker. So that's my big objective for the next six months is to really hone in on my starts and, and get to the bottom of the hill quicker. Uh, I see a lot of the elite guys come here to Geelong where I live. And um, excuse me, and I um, train a lot of them and uh, I, I video a lot of their starts. So I, I like to video their starts and look at my starts in comparison and, and sort of see what they're doing and what I'm not doing. Um, you know, so I've got some areas to improve and hopefully um, by the end of the year you'll see my gates are bigger, badder and better and I can keep up some of those elite guys to the bottom of the hill. So be very specific, but then hit both ends of it as well. Okay, so if you want to get to the bottom of the hill quicker, maybe you've got to work on your starts. You know, then you've got to do your sprints and then plus you've got to do your strength stuff as well. So maybe it's a combination of both, not just, okay, I need to improve my technique or I need to pedal faster or whatever, whatever. It could be a combination. So don't be scared to tap into all areas. Okay, guys, keep working on that, and um, I'll see you in a few weeks on HRV TV. Remember, it's brought to you by BMX Coach. Uh, BMX Coach subscription still available. Get to the Facebook page, log on, um, and you can register on there, get your training programs, get all your little videos from me, and you'll be a machine in no time. Easy peasy. Thanks, guys. I'll see you soon.